Hey guys, so today I'm here with my January wrap up. I read 12 books in the month of January, which is really good. I haven't started classes yet. Um, as you know, this is going to be my last video for a while because tomorrow um, I am going to be on a plane going to Europe for four months. So I won't have any videos up, I don't think. So this will be my last video for a while. But on a happier note, let's get on to the wrap up. So the first book that I read in January, I started it in December, but I finished it on New Year's Day, and that was The Young Elites by Marie Lu. This is a fantasy book set in kind of medieval type times. Actually, the setting reminded me a lot of Assassin's Creed, the video game. And it's about kids who, after surviving a plague outbreak, a lot of them developed powers. And so our main character, Adelina, doesn't know that she has powers until like the first chapter and she finds out. And stuff happens, and it was really good. I'm, as you might know, I'm not a big fantasy person at all, so to like a fantasy book is really good for me. Um, I definitely recommend this. Marie Lu is the author of the Legend trilogy, which is probably her, her more famous work. But anyway, I really enjoyed this, and I gave it a four out of five stars. The next book was probably the most disappointing read of the month, and that was What I Thought Was True by Huntley Fitzpatrick. This is a summary contemporary romance. Huntley Fitzpatrick wrote My Life Next Door, which I really enjoyed. But this one, unfortunately, I felt like nothing much happened in the whole book. It was, it's 400 pages, and there really wasn't that much going on. So I just really was not a fan of this at all. It took me a while to get through. Um, I gave it like a 3, maybe more like a 2.5 out of 5 stars. The next book that I read was Zodiac by Romina Russell. This I did a review on, so I will link that in the description below, or you can click on the book to go to it. But I'm not going to say too much about it, but I really enjoyed it, and I gave it a 4 out of 5 stars. So if you want to know more, make sure you check out my review. The next book that I read was Zack and Mia by A.J. Betts. This is a cancer story about two kids named Zack and Mia. This is written by an Australian author, and it's set in Western Australia, which was really interesting. I've never read a book set in Australia before. I really enjoyed it. Um, the characters... at some points the characters did annoy me a little bit, but I definitely would recommend this, especially for fans of like Fault in Our Stars and that kind of thing, and Eleanor and Park too. I really enjoyed this book and I gave it a 4 out of 5 stars. And the next book I read was my favorite book of the month, and that was The Jewel by Amy Ewing. This book has been getting a lot of mixed reviews. I wasn't sure that I was going to like it at all. It follows a girl named Violet who was bought by royalty in order to bear their children because the royalty cannot have children. And it's a dystopian, and it reminded me a lot of Wither by Lauren DeStefano, so if you really like that book, I would definitely check this one out. This book reminded me why I like dystopians. I have not read a good dystopian, like a really, like a five-star dystopian in a long time, and I was beginning to think that I just was over dystopians. But this made me realize that maybe I'm not, and I loved, loved, loved this book. I flew through it in like two days. And I obviously gave it a 5 out of 5 stars, and I definitely would recommend it. The next book that I read was the finish of a series, and that was The Blood of Olympus by Rick Riordan. This is the fifth book in the Heroes of Olympus series. It's a continuation of Percy Jackson, and it's about Greek and Roman mythology. I really liked this conclusion. I know a lot of people were really upset about it. Um, I don't know. This is not my favorite series. I know it's a lot of people's favorite, but it's not my favorite. It's just kind of been a four-star series for me. But I enjoyed this conclusion. I was clearly glad to finish off the series, and I gave it a four out of five stars. The next book that I read was Control by Lydia Kang. This is a sci-fi novel. Ooh, look, you can see. You can see yourself. Um, this is a sci-fi novel, and I really like sci-fi, but I don't always like sci-fi, so I was kind of unsure. But I ended up enjoying it quite a lot. As you might know, I am a science major in college, and so I enjoyed seeing, like, the scientific kind of terms to it, and yeah, I enjoyed this book, and I gave it a four out of five stars. The next book I read was Trial by Fire by Josephine Angelini. This, this book follows a girl named Lily who is transported to an alternate universe that's run by witches, and she finds out she's a witch, and all this stuff happens. Um, I enjoyed this book. I didn't love it. It was okay, but it wasn't my favorite. I don't know. I felt like I was confused at the beginning. Like, I didn't know exactly what was going on. Um, it was an enjoyable read, and I think I might pick up the sequel. 
But yeah, I gave it a 3.5 out of 5. Next book that I read was Love Letters to the Dead by Ava Dallara. This is about a girl named Laurel who, after her sister dies, she writes um, letters to dead people who have died tragically because her sister died tragically. And you find out more about stuff surrounding her death and all that stuff. It reminded me a lot of Perks of Being a Wallflower, so if you're a fan of that, I would definitely check this out. I gave it a 4 out of 5 stars. The next book I read was The Fall by Bethany Griffin. This is a retelling of The Fall of the House of Usher by Edgar Allan Poe, which I had to read for school a few years ago, and I really loved it, so I, when I heard about this, I knew I had to read it. It was really good. Um, I don't think I would have enjoyed it as much if I hadn't previously read The Fall of the House of Usher. But yeah, it was really creepy and mysterious, and it was kind of slow in parts, but I really enjoyed it nonetheless, and I gave it a 4.5 out of 5. And the next book I read is another one of my favorites, and that's A Thousand Pieces of View by Claudia Gray. First off, this cover is so gorgeous. This is about a girl named Marguerite who her father gets murdered, and she has to chase her father's murderer through different dimensions, and it's really, really cool. I really, really loved this book. Um, I can't wait for the second one. And I gave it a 5 out of 5 stars. And the final book that I read in January was Fairest by Marissa Meyer. This is a prequel to the Lunar Chronicles. It just came out. And I had kind of low expectations going into it. I wasn't sure how I was going to like it. I was mad that Winter got pushed back so we could get this. But it was really interesting hearing Queen Lavana's backstory and some of the backstory of the other characters. And I definitely... Would recommend it if you like the series. I don't think it's necessary for the series, but it's a good like companion to the series to learn more about certain characters that are in the series. So that's all I read in January. I hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you again soon, whenever that's gonna be. Probably not until May, but anyway, thank you for watching. Bye!